Luke Thomas at the SAP Center in San Jose, California for the Bellator Dynamite Media Day. Next to this man, one of the most successful MMA light heavyweights ever, Tito Ortiz. Tito, we're on the verge of your big Saturday. Before we get to that, quick question. Did you get a chance to see the World Wrestling Championships in Vegas last weekend, I believe? Um, actually, I've, I've watched it like three times on ESPN. and. ESPN, I gotta say thank you for posting them. Uh, it's it's great that they put them on on camera. Uh, me and my kids got to sit down and watch them, and you know, um, Jordan Burroughs, amazing, amazing athlete, uh, and the 19 year old kid, Kyle uh, Snyder, Snyder, amazing, huge guy, big guy. Uh, hats off to them, man. Congratulations, that was awesome. Okay, so just a, just a question for fun, true or false? Jordan Burroughs currently is the most dominant athlete in any sport. True, that guy's untouchable. The tech guy in the finals. Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. It's just uh, so many kids look up to him. My son looks up to him, and it's just great to see that uh, he could be a role model the way he is and be a great athlete and a father the way he is. It's just great. Are you glad he's in wrestling, or would you, a little part of you is like, oh, it'd be kind of cool to get him in MMA too? It would be great to see him in MMA, him and Snyder. You could vote those guys here in MMA. Bellator needs to sign him. Uh, it would be great to see them in MMA. Um, they could make some really, really good money. You know, I know, um, who is it, uh, Ruth? has an opportunity to come to Bellator, so he's a monster too. I would like to get my hands on him and to show him some things, man. That guy could be a world champ. I've watched his whole career since he was a freshman at uh, Penn State, and that guy's, that guy's an animal too. So wrestlers, man, all of us, we, we, we have the work ethic like no other, and to learn MMA is easy. Um, to put in the work is even easier. Uh, to become a world champion, maybe it'd be challenging for others, but it'd be easier for the guys who are national champs or world champions to come in MMA and dominate. Come Saturday, you might be a champion. It's interesting, though. Like, I think about what... I, I am. I'm going to be champion. It's interesting. Assuming you win that fight, what, what does it mean for your career? I'm trying to think about all the different pieces and all the different chapters you've had. Your, your tenure in Bellator has been, I think, without much argument, pretty successful, pretty good for your image, pretty good for your career. What would winning a belt here do, though, in the totality of all the fights you've won and lost? Um, it, it, I think it really just uh, solidify what a self-fulfilling prophecy is. When I got here, that's what I wanted to do, was become a world champion. I want to show everybody out there that uh, once you set your mind to something, you can achieve anything. And my achievement is to get that world title around my waist. Do you like the doubters who say, oh, McGeary's going to start him? Or do you, do you want to prove them wrong? Or is it sort of a situation where like, I'm at this point in my career where I no longer care about that? Um, I like it. I think it's a motivation for me. You know, I went from four to one underdog to a five to one underdog. So let's make it six. Let's make it even number six. Uh, and this just gives me a reminding when I fought, uh, what was it Ryan Bader and I was a six to one underdog and all these guys were interviewing me and they're asking me, so what are you going to do after this fight? I mean, are you going to retire? Da, 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 da. And I said, no, I'm going to win. And once again, I'm here again. Yes, I'm going to win. I saw you talking to Emmanuel Newton yesterday. What was he able to tell you? Because he, he faced Liam McGarry and went the full distance. He lost, but obviously he's seen him for a, you know, 25 full minutes. What did he tell you? Um, if you're in shape, you won't have a problem. Really? That's what, did you guys talk about, like, strength or maybe anything he does differently? Uh, a little bit of his strength, you know, how, how strong is he? And uh, he, said, like, he goes, like I say, if you're in shape, you'll have no problem. So I'm in great shape. Uh, I'm going to push the tempo, man. I'm going to push the tempo. And the question is, has Liam ever fought anybody like me? Has he ever fought anybody at my caliber or anybody that I fought at the caliber? And no. Um, it's just, this, this, is the, this is the end of my movie, man. This is, this is maybe the end of my career. This is something that I, I wanted. I begged Scott Coker for this fight. Um, I know what I need to do. And then I imposed my will on Liam McGarry. Is Saturday your destiny or a big gamble that's worth taking? Um, it's my destiny and the gamble that is worth taking. It's both. It's both, man. This, this is both. Uh, I, I'm a huge gambling man, and uh, but since I've asked for this fight, I've been. It's been a part of my destiny. I've been dreaming. I've been thinking about. It. Like I say, self-fulfilling prophecy. I believe it. I'm, I've been eating, sleeping, dreaming it, and it's gonna happen. Best of luck to you on Saturday, and thank you for your time, Tito. Uh, I appreciate, it, man. Of course, all the fans, check it out live on Spike. Watch it become Bellator Light Heavyweight World Champ.